वेलकम टू अपीपीडिया 2016 मेंस क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कशन टुडे विल बी टेकिंग अप द इश्यू ऑफ करप्शन फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक एथिकल एंड लीगल पर्सपेक्टिव्स सो वी हैव विद आवर पैनल टुडे मिस मोना एंड मिस राबिना देयर आर द रिस्पेक्टिव फैकल्टीज ऑफ एथिक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स एंड आईआर रिलेशंस सो अभिनव सर सो व्हाट आर योर टेक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इकोनॉमिक एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ करप्शन इन इंडिया सर करप्शन इज लाइक अ डिजीज दैट इरोड्स द मॉरल फैब्रिक ऑफ द सोसाइटी Okay. In context of economics, corruption increases the cost of a project. It uh, leads to tax evasion and ta tax avoidance, okay. which in turn causes uh, costs the government in terms of high fiscal deficit. Okay. So when the, uh, when fiscal deficit rises, government is unable to undertake projects, infrastructure projects mm -hmm. that will uh, usher welfare benefits to the society. Okay. So जैसे मैं बड़ी बार एक बार देखता हूँ news media reports में आता है. कि सेंटर से अगर एक रुपया भेजते हैं तो ग्राउंड लेवल पे शायद बारह पैसे पहुंचते हैं तो वो फिर कोई सिस्टम थोड़ी ना हुआ वो तो आप फेंक के भी मारोगे तो भी बारह पैसे पहुंच जाएंगे तो ये बीच में एक सिस्टम की जरूरत ही क्या है तो अगर इकोनॉमिक पर्सपेक्टिव से देखा जाए uh well abhishek ethical perspective is a very stronger one i must say uh, look uh, it's like uh, you know when i would say uh, corruption is what corruption in from my perspective from the ethical perspective corruption comes when there is a failure of the ethical standards when there is a failure of morals and the values in the society okay. why is corruption existing at all my question is why because we accept it okay isn't it so uh, look uh, if i am to answer this question if corruption can be eradicated from society and how can corruption be eradicated from the society so you see a multi pronged approach is needed to eradicate corruption uh, i would say uh, no one shot solution is there okay. is possible you cannot say fine you um, formulate or you make very strict laws and corruption would be eradicated okay. you cannot say you do something on economic front and the corruption would be eradicated okay. no like amount of effort demonetization exactly point. exactly okay. no amount of effort from one side can you can say um, handle this monster okay. uh, and uh, with regards to your question of uh, this ethical perspective and uh, ethical angle uh, look uh, there are two approaches there are two ways uh, what you people are talking of and what my colleagues have been discussing is uh, the extrinsic approach to uh, corruption of course okay. that is very important extrinsic approach you know when you get hurt somewhere then you apply a bandage on the outside and but however this is not a very a small this, this is a disease you know okay. it has hit the body internally okay. so in, intrinsic approach is equally important apart okay. from the external approaches so intrinsic is where the importance of having strong values values in the society comes in okay. importance of having strong morals important of importance of having strong ethical standards comes okay. in so okay. intrinsic approach the ethical approach is focusing on the internal aspect of a human being internal aspect and internal organic fabric of a society comes in so when that is strong when there is no receptibility when there is no acceptance for corruption how do you think at all can corruption exist isn't it mm -hmm. that was my ethical contribution okay see one more thing i like to see here whenever something is working why would you get uh, rid of that particular thing exactly. for example in our society corruption works you know anybody who is going to pay a bill let's say electricity bills are there so wo banda ko bula ke bole ya ki yaar itne paise le lo thoda adjust kar do Correct. So anything which works, people are very uh, resistive to replace that particular thing Correct. with something better. So in our system, for example, if I go to the public administration perspective of it, there's Fred Riggs. He calls about prismatic sala model. You know. So in this, there's formalism, nepotism. Hmm. So you do things just for the sake of showing it. That yes, all thing is very hanky dory, but at the underneath, you know that there will be corruption. Right. so our society is built in such a manner that uh, yes corruption is a kind of accepted norm here yes that something which works we won't like to replace it very fast and from the legal perspective or from the political perspective i say that uh, polity is basically deciding who gets what when and where You're right yes and in this mode uh, the prismatic society here will decide that through a corrupt means huh? so we have got corruption entrepreneurs throughout our society throughout our political fabric Everybody is a contributor there. We have seen uh, criminalization in politics. We have seen Neta Babu Lala Nexus. We have seen the Aram Se culture, which happens in India, and everything adds the cost of living. Everything adds the cost of corruption and cost of governance. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from an inclusive perspective, we need to build, uh, I guess, all the dimensions within an answer which deals with corruption. Yeah. Like Ma'am said, the ethical, 
the economical and the political. So you need to have corruption acts or anti-corruption law very firmly placed, one. We need to build the morals. We need to build the economic sense with the people that corruption is actually working against you, not for you. Yes? Either uh, that should uh, summarize it. Would you like to contribute anything else? Uh, yeah, I think uh, that, that completes the answer. Okay. I think as in... Uh, at the level of the society, uh, we must make sure that the materialistic values uh, do not, uh, you can say, at the moment, uh, for instance, they are at the top level, okay. they, they are at the top level, highest top priority in the society. Okay. We should make sure that they are given their right place in the society and that mm -hmm. they are no substitute for a higher morals, higher moral and higher morality in life and higher ethical standards in life. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you.